Give me one good reason Caitlin Clark can't play in the NBA. Height, weight, speed, vertical agility, strength. Caitlin Clark would not be able to play for her own men's basketball team, let alone an NBA team. Simples. Can men get pregnant? Oh, I am. You're pregnant? Mm -hmm. You are? Yeah. How about oh, a congratulations? Yeah. Uh, Instead of laughing at me, you could say, like, congrats or something. Congratulations. I'm sorry. Thank you. So how far it. along are you? Two weeks. How do you know you're pregnant after two weeks? My stomach's been growling more than usual, so... And me and him had... Pause. So I think... Yeah. I think that's where it came from. How long have you guys been together? Two weeks. Yeah. Oh! We were, like, a one-night yeah. stand. I was finna dip, but I was like, that's my kid. I'm finna stay, so. That's really noble of you. We need more of that. More. I know we need like more you. black fathers. How do you know so. you don't just have cramps? No, I have a kid too. So this is the second time this has happened. So the first time you had a kid, you felt like. You yeah, I felt the same sensation I'm feeling now. Okay, and where did the kid come out of? My what did he say? Hey! That's that kind of obvious, is that, right? Yeah, is that funny or something? No, no, you're right. Our kid's gonna be straight A so student funny, and gonna be on the basketball team. So. Yeah, the next LeBron James. Slash Yao Ming. That's that kind of obvious, that, right? Yeah, is that funny or something? No, no, you're right. Our kid's gonna be black and ease too. He's gonna be a straight what A so student funny, and gonna be on the basketball team, so. Yeah, the next LeBron James. Slash Yao Ming. Guys, I really don't believe they're serious. I, I think they're trying to pull her legs or something like that, but if they are serious, like, these two need to be locked up somewhere and, like, just throw away the key, like, throw the key away. Um, this is a queer fat club. Um, I'm, I'm queer and fat. Okay, thank you for joining. We're just um, introducing ourselves at the moment. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, Joe? Yeah, uh, my name's Joe. I go by he, they, and uh, I identify as 275 pounds. Okay, okay. Um, I feel like Jay's kind of making fun of me, though. I know it's kind of a shock. I know, kind of a new thing. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm Do what? I said I apologize. Oh, no, you're good. Um, are you comfortable leaving the group at the moment? Why? Why? I'm, I'm not understanding why you're joining the group. This is the queer and fat group now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I came here for. Okay. Um, and you said you identify as fat? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is just for fat bodied people. Yeah, I understand. I, I identify as a fat bodied person. I'm not understanding where you're coming from. Are you guys comfortable with me here? I mean, I'm pretty chill on my end. I'm not comfortable, no. Can we take like a vote? He was just trying to put their legs and he can't be serious because if this is really happening, like I we say the word is gone. Like that is just the truth. The word is gone. When people yeah. say they're offended, just because you're offended, it doesn't mean you're right. It's offense is about feelings and feelings are personal. Some people are offended by equality. So what? You can't second guess people. If you try and please everyone, you'll please no one. You know, you can't legislate against stupidity, otherwise you'll be doing nothing. And freedom of speech is so important these yeah. days. I I've reached the age now where I don't care anymore. <laughs> it's a, to not to joke about all the bad things. That's a waste. Because that's exactly what we should joke about. Yeah. It gets, if you can laugh in the face of adversity, you're bulletproof. Doesn't exist. You can't go around apologizing for jokes. They're jokes. So I've got a plan. The next time I get cancelled over a joke, the next time I upset people with a joke, I'm going to come out on the day of the cancellation. I'm going to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> and the people that I've offended will say, you don't really mean that apology. And I'll say, so you're saying, could say something and not mean it. Now you're getting it. <laughs> gotcha. It really doesn't make sense when comedians make jokes and people get really offended by it and like hit them on stage or like, try to cancel them because it's a joke like if you can take it like leave leave there don't listen to it like off your tv it's not for seeing to watch the joke like just leave the joke alone what do you think about white men i think it's just the term white man just immediate turn off what do you think of black men love oh hell no <laughs> do you think it's racist to by default not like white men i mean I don't think so because I think there's a difference between like racism and dis or that's that's a interesting question. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? It's an interesting question. Yeah. Cuz like I mean, I don't dislike, but there is a like a uh, like nervous feeling. I don't know. So if you met someone who said that they get nervous around black men and that they've had bad experiences with black men, would you still consider that racist? Ooh, yeah, I see your point. <laughs> Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Which one would you date? An MS-13 gang member or a Trump supporter? Oh. Uh. 
gang member. Give it a gang member! So I'm gonna go MS-13. <sighs> yeah, probably MS-13 member. MS-13. MS-13. All the way. Neither. <laughs> I'll stay single. It's embarrassing that I don't know what an MS-13 gang member is. This is a gang who sell drugs, kidnap, kill, and you say you date that kind of person than a Trump voter because it does not make sense like I really don't know if people hate Trump like this but like it totally does not make sense because a Trump member will not kill you at night or you're not going to be worried about a gang coming to your house to like kill him so I really don't understand what you're saying and I'll say this most people are saying that thinking about the consequences they just cough it out studies that show that trans women have physical advantage over what I'm going to call cis girls, what you call biological girls in sports. Just taking the time we've spent in this committee hearing today, we have only been referring to this whole debate, males infiltrating into women's sports. If the argument is that males don't possess advantages over females, then why haven't we spent any time talking about or worrying about women entering men's sports? It's because everyone in this hearing room knows that that's not what we're referring to. Anyone with a brother knows the advantages that males possess over females. So I feel as if the evidence is evident. You look at any sport. Let's take the basketball. The three-point line is a different distance. The size of the ball is smaller. The amount of layups you see in women's basketball compared to dunks. Men's volleyball. The, the net is seven and a half inches higher than the women's net. I could keep going. What are your pronouns? Pronouns? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. What are my pronouns? Mm. All right, cut real quick. I'm that man. Risk taker. Hustler. Pizza? <laughs> I, I don't see they are dumb, but like, it's a strange question when you see someone asking what are your pronouns. Like, yo, you can see me. I'm he. Like, you, you don't ask questions like that. Like, I don't know. That's like strange for them because where did we get to that accent? Where is, what is your pronouns now? Like, it does not make sense. So I've seen this one YouTube thumbnail that says Charlie Cook Kirk believes that TikTok is turning trans do you agree with the statement TikTok is playing a role in making them think that they might have gender identification issues this is chloe cole she's a detransitioner in my experience i learned about transgenderism through the internet at roughly about the age of 11 or 12 and i mean it captivated me i had body image issues and it felt like i found the explanation for as to why i felt so different from the women around me social media in general led you to believe the wrong idea and that in turn it what made you go down a path that maybe wasn't right for you i mean it's beyond not right for me this has left permanent effects on my body i might not be able to have children i have complications from the puberty blockers the testosterone and the surgery that's three correct. years after i've stopped taking all of them i'm very suspicious about okay but oh, i understand are you calling her a liar no are you sure about that i'd like to say that you're wrong about trans people being indoctrinated. I mean, I've met hundreds of other detransitioners, some even younger than I was, and have come out of it with trauma that they're left with for life. Sterile. The way I said my previous video, before you choose to be a trans woman, you have to think about everything. Like, you don't just go to the hospital and say, now I've cut my breast off, I'm a being man. No, you have to check, make sure that is the last result. Most people say they have identity crisis, but like, check what is the main reason some people might just be bored some people might just be lonely and feel like no i i can't feel myself in this body anymore no that's not it 